Last week, I was talking about what I changed my mind about over the last 12 months, and it was carbon markets. Uh, and I also asked people, hey, what have you changed your mind about? I was kind of bummed. I didn't get too many responses. Uh, but I think it's really important to be able to change your mind, not so much to show that you're flexible, but to show an understanding that you think a certain way based on X, Y, and Z, and that then that thinking can change. It's one of the prerequisites to be able to change your mind is to have made up your mind about something. Uh, I was talking with Tim Flannery about this. Uh, he's going to be speaking at Air Miners coming up on September 1st. He's an explorer, author, luminary in carbon removal. He's got a great uh, TED Talk on carbon removal. Uh, and you know, we were talking about is as somebody that's, that's really looked up to in the field, how do we help uh, create more leaders in carbon removal? In order to make a thousand shots on goal for carbon removal work, it means we need a ton more leaders. We need more people who are able to uh, think about carbon removal, come up with their own their own thinking on it. And, and again, like maybe that means changing your mind occasionally, but it means starting with an understanding and starting with a clear point of view. And that's how you become a leader in carbon removal is you, you kind of pull together pieces of truth, pieces of information, uh, and you come up with some new idea. The thing to avoid is just kind of grabbing a bunch of things that already exist and just simply repeating them. Uh, it's something that comes up in a lot of news articles about carbon removal or textbooks, I assume, about carbon removal. Uh, we'll eventually just kind of repeat the, the same one or two facts about carbon removal. Uh, and so being a leader in carbon removal means having either some, some unique insight about the field or, or being able to just kind of dive into into numbers, into perspectives, and figure something new out. One way to look at it is that when you build things yourself, that's truth. Whether you're creating a, a design for a machine or you're creating something, you're creating a logo, you're creating a name, uh, you're creating a new uh, spreadsheet of every philanthropic funder in, in carbon removal. Building things, creating things is a great way to become a source of truth and, and to find truth about things. Because the reality is the, the rest of the leaders in carbon removal that I know, they're all kind of, they, they actually have a slice of the picture. They actually have their own experience. They're trying to build something uh, and, and that gives them this unique perspective. But there's nobody actually who knows everything about carbon removal, not even close not even three years ago, and certainly not today, and certainly not going forward. The idea that there will be, you know, people that just know everything about carbon rule is, we're, we're past that, we're past that age. So how do we identify and help the leaders we'll need in order to make a thousand shots on goal? The main thing is to get started. Try doing something. I'm super inspired by, uh, by so many people in air miners who seem to just step in and start creating something, start putting things together, whether it's ideas or knowledge or new diagrams for technologies. One example of this is John Sanchez. I got to meet John like 13 months ago now. He emailed me, we had a conversation, talked about carbon removal. He was at the very beginning of, of learning about this and every step of the way he would learn more and then share those resources. And about a, a month, maybe two months after uh, I first met him, he published the Carbon Removal Academy, which is just his collection of all these resources that he had found on carbon removal. Uh, and that grew out into the Air Miners boot up, which is introducing thousands of people to carbon removal. I think John's this great example of somebody who just kind of steps out and gets started. Nobody has this all figured out, right? I'm talking about how do we unlock $10 billion of capital for early stage companies in carbon removal? I don't have it all figured out, but step by step figuring out how do we start to, to make that change. Another example of getting started is WAM, the Women Air Miners Group. Uh, and they just launched a new program uh, to help create more women leaders. And they just launched a new program to help more women air miners lead. So the mentoring program is open. It's posted on Slack. Applications are, are uh, open until August 31st. Basically, they, they're pairing women in carbon removal uh, in small groups to, to kind of get career advice, get perspective. Maybe you're sitting on the sidelines. I love this bullet point from the application. It's like, are you sitting on the sidelines feeling like you have something to add, but you haven't found the, the right spot yet. Um, so I, I love the fact that, that Women Air Miners is just kind of stepping out and getting started, getting started building. This question of how do we create leaders in carbon removal, for example, uh, nobody has that all figured out. Uh, but rather than wait up, Women Air Miners is stepping into it and saying, hey, you know what, we're gonna do this pilot program, we're gonna try this, we're gonna match up these groups of three, and we're gonna see how it goes. 
So from John Sanchez building Carbon Removal Academy to the new WAM mentoring program, uh, there are opportunities to just step forward and, and get started creating things and kind of discovering that truth and discovering that, that perspective. Uh, if you find yourself just getting stuck reading all the time uh, and, and kind of learning and not feeling like you really have any big questions, then connect to other people, ask them questions or have them ask you questions. Uh, that's all the things that the people who are leading in carbon rule get the benefit of is, is asking hard questions, figure out how to, how to build something or create something. And then more people come to you and they ask you their hardest question. And that's what we need more of in carbon removal. In order to get to a thousand shots on goal, it means we need many, many more leaders helping push the field forward from, from all aspects of behind the scenes, uh, working out on, on solutions in the field, doing calculations to figure out pricing. We need leaders all across the board from WAM to boot up and carbon rule academy and maybe there's a group that you are interested in starting uh, and if so let me uh, let me know either email me or post a comment on this video 